In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the new Windows 11 media player on any version of Windows 11. So, let's get started. <laughs> So first of all, head now to the link in the description that will open up a PDF, which contains all the files, links, and commands that we'll be needing during the whole process of installing the new media player. So first of all, go ahead and click on the link that says Online Link Generator for Microsoft Store. Here, as you can see, we've got this blue link right here. Just go ahead and click on that. And here, as you can see right now in this website called store.rg-adguard.net, so go ahead and set the first drop down menu to package family name and the last drop down menu to fast. In the center as you can see we've got this text box right here. Go back to the PDF, scroll down and then you'll find this 1.2 bullet point where we've got this text right here. Microsoft.zoom music. Just select it, right click on it and click on copy. And then go back to the Microsoft Store online link generator and then just paste in the text you just copied. And then just go ahead and click on the check mark icon over here. And then once it's done finding here, as you can see, we've got a lot of links right here, a lot of packages. Now we're going to be finding a specific package, which we're going to be using to install the new media player. Go back to the PDF, scroll down until you're in the second bullet point where we've got this text right here, Microsoft Zoom Music. Just select it, right click and click on copy. Go back to the Microsoft Store link generator, hit Control F and then hit Control V and then hit enter. So now here, as you can see, we've got this specific package highlighted in orange which is the package which we're going to be using to install the new media player. So if you're using Microsoft Edge, then you just have to click on it to download the package. But if you're using Google Chrome like me, right click on the link, click on save link as, and then save it wherever you want. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Let me just go ahead and click on save. As you can see, we've got this error right here. That is because Microsoft couldn't recognize or identify the publisher or the creator of this application. But don't worry guys, you can just click on the arrow icon over here. And then just click on keep and I'll just save it onto your computer. Go back to the PDF and then we've got the third bullet point where we have the link for 7-zip. Just click on the link that says download and install 7-zip and it'll open up the official website of 7-zip. Here as you can see we've got a lot of links right here. You just have to download the applicable exe file if you're running a 32-bit Windows or a 64-bit Windows. I'm running a 64-bit operating system so I'm going to select this one right here. And I'll start downloading onto your computer. And now once it's done downloading, just go ahead and click on that. And here as you can see, we've got the user account control window right here. Just go ahead and click on yes. And in this window right here, just go ahead and click on install. And then just click on close once it's done installing. And just minimize the browser. Now go to the location where you saved the package. I had saved it on my desktop, so I've got it on my desktop right here. Now all you gotta do is just right click on it. And then click on show more options hover over 7-zip and then choose extract to and then, just, and then just wait for it to completely extract the folder so here as you can see we've got the extracted folder right here so now just open up the extracted folder and just scroll all the way to the bottom until you find a file that says app underscore 11.2110.34.0 underscore x64 i've got the application right here the package right here as you can see all you gotta do is just right click on it Click on show more options, hover over 7-zip and then choose extract to. Just wait for it to completely extract the file. And here as you can see we've got the extracted folder right here. Just open it up. And over here you'll have to locate a file that has the name AWPX manifest. Here as you can see I found the file right here. Just right click on it once you've found it. Click on show more options and then go ahead and click on edit. Now once Notepad has opened up here, as you can see Notepad has opened up, go back to the PDF and then here just go to the fourth bullet point where it says in the 11th line change the mini version value to this version number. Just select the Windows version, right click and copy, go back to the Notepad that had opened up earlier and just hunt for the 11th line. The easier way to find the 11th line is just by randomly clicking on the lines and then over here as you can see it's showing the line number, right now I'm in line number 7. So I click over here, as you can see, it says line number 11. Now, once you're on line number 11, you'll have to find for the word that says mini version is equals to, and then we've got this version number right here. Just select the version number, right click, and then click on paste. Once you're done with that, just click on file, and then just click on save. And then just close down notepad, minimize the window, and go back to the file explorer. And now all you gotta do is delete a few files that I'm gonna be saying right now. Hold the control key, 
and then select this file that says AWPX block map and then this file that is content underscore types and then select this file as well that is AWPX metadata and this file that is AWPX signature. Select all these four files and then hold shift and then hit delete and then just click on yes to delete them permanently from your computer. Once you're done with that just open up the star menu and then type in settings and just hit enter and then once settings is opened up over here type in developer mode in the search bar and here as you can see we've got the developer settings right here just click on it and then once you click on that you'll find this developer mode toggle button right here and make sure it's toggled on if it's toggled off all you gotta do is go ahead and just toggle it on and then we have this prompt message right here well you just have to click on yes and then once you've clicked on yes and you've enabled developer mode just close down settings and then just open up the search bar on your computer type in powershell and in the right side once you've typed in powershell make sure you select this button right here that says run as administrator and then the user account control window just click on yes and then once windows powershell has opened up go back to the pdf then you'll find in the fifth bullet point we've got this command right here just go ahead and select it right click on it and then click on copy and go back to powershell and then hit ctrl v and then just hit enter now what we just did here is that we just uninstalled the old groove music that was there on our windows 11 computer so we just completely uninstalled groove music now once it's done uninstalling groove music you'll see that we've got windows slash system 32 pop up once again so that means that groove music just got uninstalled just go back to the pdf and here as you can see we've got another command right here in the sixth bullet point just select it right click on it and then just click on copy go back to powershell and then hit ctrl v and then make sure you add a space after register go back to file explorer and make sure you're in the same location where you just edited the xml document that is the awpx manifest file so go back to the same location and then select the awpx manifest xml document right click on it and then just click on copy as path go back to powershell and then make sure you added a space i've already added it before and then hit ctrl v and just go ahead and hit enter and just wait for a few seconds for it to completely install the new media player so now here as you can see once it's done installing we'll find that we've got the windows slash system 32 once again pop up once that's popped up just close down powershell and close all the windows on your computer and if you go back to your search bar and then type in media player here as you can see we successfully installed the latest media player onto our windows 11 operating system let me just go ahead and open up here as you can see even though this is only available in developer channels that is dev channels we still managed to install it on this old version of windows 11 because we just edited the notepad that opened up earlier and we set the minimum system requirements to a really old version of windows 11. that's why we could successfully install the new media player here as you can see it's right now in preview mode here as you can see it's got a really clean look right here and it looks pretty cool you can just go ahead and open up videos listen to music and do what you normally did with Groove Music. If you find this video helpful, make sure to give this video a like and share with a friend. And if you have any queries, you can put them down in the comment section below. And please hit the subscribe button to support me. Till then, see you later. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.